Hi, I'm Laura Unicorn. I'm here at the Egyptian Theater for the third annual LA Ega Fest, presented by the Japan Film Society. Sure. Well, um, this is a great event that you guys throw, oh, put together, so and it's the third year. Yes. So, why is it so important for the Japanese uh, Film Society to throw these kinds of events? I, th I think that um, um, up to now, I guess uh, the Japanese culture, um, they, I think there are a lot of Japanese films that cater towards the U.S. audience, but uh, people don't know about it. There, weren't, there, weren't, there wasn't a uh, platform or a venue that really um, showcases all this, like, for example, in three days, a lot of, uh, like, 20, you know, 12 feature films, 10 shorts uh, for TV episodes. So um, uh, it's important for us to showcase to the U.S. audience that uh, there are a lot of great films, and it's not just artsy films, but there are you know, um, films that the general American audience would enjoy as well. Okay, and how do you pick, select the films? Because there's so many that right. are interested. Right, so we do have a committee and we look at all these different films, big films, small films, and we, um, you know, see uh, news and everything. And then um, we have a committee of Japanese and U.S. people, and then we pick from that. Yeah, I mean, it's such a broad, when you look through the, the book, it's yeah. there's so many films. I saw all the trailers oh, and it's you. so exciting. Yes. Um, is there a film that you're lo really looking forward to that you saw that you're just like, I need to see this? Um, all of them, actually, but especially, I guess, the um, opening one, uh, the opening Unforgiven. Yeah, so it's a Clint Eastwood classic remake, Japanese remake. Ken, Ken, Ken Watanabe is uh, starring in it, and um, yeah, Lee sang yeo directing it. So it's it's all this in two hours. It's in Hokkaido. So I think it's a very different film that you normally see in uh, in the U.S. So I, um, that's, I, I, I'm looking forward to see how the U.S. audience reacts. And yeah. this year will be the first year you guys are having like the the marketplace yes, for everyone. Yes, absolutely. So that's really yeah. exciting because yeah. because everyone gets to try the different yes. uh, food, food and just and look games and games and, and yes. just experience like yes. Japan yes, similar, exactly. very similar yes. actually. Yes, absolutely. And so, what gave you that idea to have a market? Because this is the first year. That yes. You guys um, I think we wanted to make this place a destination, um, you know, not just watching films, but also to experience Japanese uh, culture as well through watching our films. So we thought it best that there's a street fair and we have uh, all these different, a mini Japanese street fair, Matsuri, so people can kind of have a small taste of what, what it's like. And are you looking forward to, like, what food are you looking forward to the most for tomorrow? Uh, for Is there tomorrow? something your favorite, like... Uh, well, there's mochi. Mochi, mochi okay. yeah, so <laughs> that we're, you know... Sticking in, uh, so that that mochi is uh, something that uh, it's not as common. So yeah, um, definitely, and the texture. Is yes, really it's, it's, it's very it. exactly. It's exactly. very hard to get that. Right, right. So we'll try to shove it in the no. <laughs> See how the U.S. people. And um, yeah. when you go to, when you when you go back to Japan, yeah. like do you when you bring back the fi uh, films, mm -hmm. do you meet with a lot of like what made you create the Japanese film and uh -huh. like. Sorry, can we start with that one? We'll edit that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so with the with the Japanese Film uh, Society, yeah. well, how are you expanding the growth for in in the, in the United States? Um, well, uh, in the holding, the film yes, here, and then so. uh, well, marketing it and also yeah, trying to get definitely. the U.S. community, the Hollywood community, uh, the celebrities who like Japanese films, and get more um, exposure for them, and and then just pick good films that we think that uh, U.S. audience will like. Yeah, I'm Thai American, but I watch Japanese films oh, like really? all the time. Yeah. So that's why they asked me here because I know all about the oh, films. Awesome. Okay, great. So that's why I was like, oh, I know every film. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that's why I was really excited. So for so tomorrow's yeah. event, yeah. Um, you guys are having the marketplace. So what made you? Who? How did you pick the vendors? Uh, the vendors. Uh, well, we picked uh, uh, different. Um, since it's a very small space, we couldn't, you know, uh, get as many. Yes, and then it's a first time for vendors as well. So um, we have a few vendors of, of some of the uh, toy stuff we kind of created ourselves. So it's kind of we're testing it out because it's a very first time. So once that's done, then we'll probably get uh, more vendors for next year. But it's kind of a trial. But we are we will have a kimono models as well oh. to kind of get that atmosphere to see uh, like of a Japanese uh, street festival. Okay, thank you so much. Thank I am so, so excited for here. Oh, and you. it's a great setup. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook to find out more information about the Japan Film Society and regarding next year's events.